Before we begin please like, share and subscribe to my channel, thank you. Credit to Max Defense Philippines. Defense Sec. Delfin Lorenzana checks out the A-29B Super Tucano bound for the Philippine Air Force during the handover ceremonies of the Gulfstream G-280 Command and Control Aircraft. Take note that the aircraft are not yet handed over by Embraer to the Philippine Air Force, so officially they are not yet under PAF ownership. Apparently a handover ceremony is being prepared once the two other Super Tucanos PTZZS and PTZZU arrive in the country. The Philippine Air Force formally receives the Gulfstream G-280 Command and Control aircraft on 21 September 2020, just one day after the aircraft was delivered only last 20 September 2020. Source from the Armed Forces of the Philippines. The Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff Lt. Gen. Gilbert Gapay together with the Secretary of National Defense Delfin Lorenzana and Commanding Gen. Philippine Air Force Lt. Gen. Alan Paredes led the turnover and blessing ceremony of the G-280 Command and Control Aircraft at Clark Air Base, Pampanga on September 21, 2020. The Gulfstream G-280 will be primarily used by the Philippine Air Force to serve as a platform to transport senior leaders and commanders especially in the event of a crisis. It will also serve as an airborne post for command and control C2, operations both by the military and the civilian government. Aside from C-2 operations, the aircraft can also be used for airborne warning system, medical evacuation, high-altitude atmospheric research, and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. The new C-2 aircraft was acquired under the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program and purchased from the Gulfstream Aerospace through the Foreign Military Sales Program of the United States Government with the Joint U.S. Military Assistance Group. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, thank you.